Hey, and welcome to the concert experience right here on AfterBuzz TV, Music Soul Child. We have been yearning for some new music, so we've got uh, two visuals to talk about and Music Soul Child inside the AfterBuzz studio. Let's start the show right now. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Okay, do you hear that? Let it, let it, oh, destination for TV it's like a remix. Discussion. Okay, good. Back to the music. Hey, what's up? We are inside the concert experience. My name is Ronnie Jr., randomly Ronnie Jr. on social media. You are listening to a little bit of Music Soul Child. The song is called Start Over, uh, along with a, a second visual which just came out this week, Simple Things. Mm -hmm. uh, right at the exact moment, I'm not joined by music, but I am joined by, uh, from Cafe Mocha Radio, Angelique Perrin, how are you? Hey, Ronnie, thanks for inviting me. I love r and I love Music Soul Child. It is a genre, as you could hear, that sounds so good has so much heart, and I just get a little frustrated that there's not more R&B music. Um, oh, it's out there, Ronnie. Well, it's it's, <laughs> it's good because a, cause a, a guy like Music Soul Child had such a splash earlier on, and I think artists need their time to kind of get away, regroup, and come back, and to have two uh, visual, you know, pieces of work. This is start over and simple things. I think we're I think we're in. What was your first reaction uh, to the two new uh, songs, and just even him coming back in the limelight? Well, I mean, first of all, I'm excited that he's coming back with a double disc. Feel the real. I looked at video number one, Start Over, yes. which is essentially about a young lady who he had a relationship with and he decides that, hey, you know, why do we ever break up? Let's start over. I looked at the visual, as you call it, back in my day, we called it a music video. No, but you have to call it visual now because it's way more cool, I think, uh, to say it that way. I looked at the video, Ronnie, and I'm looking at this chocolate sister who's playing opposite him. Yes, uh -huh. She's got braids, she's got thick lips, she's got the nose, and, and I'm like, is it me or does this chick look like India Ari? And I'm watching, suddenly <laughs> I'm looking at the video in a whole different way, listening to the lyrics in a whole different way because you know they were a thing. Right, and the meaning of the actual. And the meaning well, of it. And, and from what we know, and Music Soul Child will be joining us um, according to if traffic works out well. Um, but according to how this should be, it is start over. Like, I think of it as like, oh, it's a new stage in his life, but it really is more about, from the video that I saw too, it's about love and it's about um it's kind of like when you're on a path with somebody and it, it that path goes away you know love does get lost but i felt like into the india re comment i did feel like oh my gosh maybe it's if you had that second chance remember when badu had the song next lifetime it was yes. kind of like this is not going to happen now but one day if we start over he was looking um very snazzy though uh, in the gear his, his 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 wardrobe he had a hat that really like struck my eye classic like him though he always yeah. brings the heat but it looked like it was one of the round hats that goes all the way around but he, he kind of like i think he had it arced where it wasn't it wasn't like a full bill, but it worked as like almost like a baseball cap adjacent. You saw that? You know, this is a total man conversation, okay? In the sense that I am not studying his hat like that. I'm just looking you at see, him. You saw the girl in the video and he said, what's the story behind it? No, I'm looking at him and saying, ooh, you look good. I'm not studying his hat and his sunglasses and all that stuff. I mean, you're, you're, no. I was listening Oh, so you think he's an attractive man. Okay, yeah, and I look at it. I, 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 I theoretically sat you next to him, so that'll be nice. Thank that'll be you. fun. Um, <laughs> no, but no, Music Soul Child and, and everyone in that genre, that era, um, it was so fantastic. I, I liked how R&B uh, was available back back in a certain time in soul music. My, my problem now is, and this is not a diss to who I'm about to talk about, but like your R&B artists now sometimes end up being strictly the Bryson Tillers or the you know Tory Lanes or whatnot, and those artists are more of a rappy trap almost sound. Oh, okay. So live, comes. live in the studio, hey, we're gonna have him in. come on in. All right. We got a. Uh, we are doing our concert uh, experience. Hey, Music Soul Child, welcome. Hey, hey what's happening? You, Thanks you, for coming. All right, so oh, you can for having me. Keep I'm the mic sorry. this way. Okay. We'll put it. Got it. Right. We'll get okay. right in. So you know, we were just talking about you. 
Okay. You are a topic of conversation with Dang. these two new visuals right here. Oh, cool. Thank you. You know, I, I, I have a, um, a love for the start over. Like, oh, that okay. one got to me right away. Do you oh, have okay. a preference of the two? No, that like they're all, they're all special <laughs> to me. Yeah, those are your babies. Yeah. Later, we're going to be arguing about our favorite music, Soul Child song. But what I was saying to Ronnie mm. is I couldn't help but notice the chocolate sister that you had in the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> and first of all, I was impressed by that because, you know, normally in music videos, you have your typical, your typical. Okay. And she had braids. And she had, Should I ask him? I, I, I'm just going to tell you. I'm looking at this chick going, hmm, is this song about India Ari? <laughs> You're going to get that. I'm I'm just telling you oh, okay. in advance. Do you think you that's how people just, will react? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Are you prepared to? Are you what, prepared what the, for that? What was the song about? Starting over? Was it like with the long lost love? Is that kind of how the words were in the song? Yeah, the song is basically about um, you know everyone has that that one that got away, and I was just posing the 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 fantastic idea. Just imagine if you had the opportunity to get a do over with the one that got away. So that's what the song was about. Yeah, we were talking about how like love has a certain uh, almost like expiration. So if you were to be able to bring it back, how mm -hmm. exciting. When I heard Start Over, it gave me that same feeling I got when I heard Erica Badu's Next Lifetime. Where it's Ooh, like yeah. uh -huh. not Something now, like mm -hmm. but maybe later. Yeah, yeah. So but Start Over is like, well, what if it could happen now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that makes 2017 a lot more exciting than 2016. <laughs> 2016 was a weird year. Did you also find uh, little challenges throughout the 2016 year? The reason I ask mm. you is because that's probably when you were creating uh, the Feel the Real project. Yeah, uh, actually, I, I was working on the Feel the Real project before Life on Earth came out. Okay. That's why it's so long. That's why it's, it's so much because as I, I just kept accumulating uh, uh, songs. Um, but um, I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to get the songs and the new stuff that I was able to come up with in that process. So Life on Earth really just kind of bogarted the situation because I was like, but I wanted to, I want to put this Feel the Real project out. But, you know, my timeline, it, it goes the way that it goes. And it's like, but I think you should put this one out first. Well, okay. yeah. that's what's interesting to me is like timeline with artists. Like I kind of respect those artists that can step away for a little bit, mm -hmm. get creative. Like I've always liked the, the movement of the Frank Ocean thing where mm -hmm. he was gone for so long. I mm -hmm. don't understand why this new generation of entertainers feel like they always have to create music. I think it's because of the demand of the, of the attention span is much shorter than it used to be. And there's so much out there. So you always have to stay ahead of the curve um, or, or else you will be forgotten about. Um, though that may be the case, I feel that if you're, you're, you're securing your creativity, it kind of doesn't really matter when you come out because you know the time and effort and uh, the work that you're going to put forth and it's, and it's going to be respected. Hopefully it's going to be appreciated. Hopefully it's going to be liked. Yeah, if We're you talking, have the credibility, yeah. yeah. Mm. We're with Music Soul Child. The new album is called Feel the Real. Feel the Real. It's on pre-order right yeah. now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Get into it, come yeah. on. Thank you. <laughs> and I guess for me, I want to know, what are you bumping in your ride? What's in there? I don't really listen to a lot of stuff when I'm in creative mode, uh, due to in my past, people who have a tendency to come, hey man, you know, you stole my style. Mm -hmm. Like, no bro, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. We just so happened to ride on the same lanes to get to the same destination so as as like a policy i don't like to listen to a lot of things when i'm in creative mode however some things do get through um uh that uh, uh kendrick lamar got through you know i was in, in, i was extremely impressed by that and i was stuck on that for a little while so and it's a moment too yeah. you know you don't want to be left out of that moment yeah, while yeah. creating still. yeah exactly that's definitely you know uh, uh, for the culture so you know i always want to be present as much as i possibly can right. to pivotal moments that the culture has been pushed forward in a positive way so yeah can we talk about for the culture in terms of r&b though because that's the part that's like hard for me like r&b and soul had its you know its mm -hmm, time mm -hmm. and even like your biggest r&b artist now mm -hmm. who i guess a lot of people will say like a bryson tiller is that guy okay, mm -hmm. it's a, to me it's a different r&b it's a, like a like a trappier like well a, see i never that's the thing i never considered myself r&b i was always categorized as r&b because yes i do acknowledge that i make r&b music but I never considered myself R&B, which is why, I, in a lot of ways, people were confused about what it is that I do and how to describe what it is that I do. So they try to create these other different subcategories like right. neo soul and, and right. the likes. But I always like to let people know that this is hip hop soul because those are the two yes. dominant elements, as you can tell, and you can identify in my music. It's always hip hop. It's going to have a hip hop 
uh, 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 sensibility with it, and it's always going to be soulful and deep and meaningful, and there's always going to be something that is it, beyond. It's going to well, my attempt is to transcend the trend. That's true, because even yeah. when I didn't realize it, like when I think of a just friends that mm-hmm. moment, yeah, from I didn't, day one. I, I'm thinking it was an R&B song, but yeah, your no. head had to nod. Exactly, it's sort of like and hip-hop. That's, that's hip hop one on one. If it right. doesn't make you right. do it, bro, like it's not hip hop. Uh, we we do have a lot to talk about with you, but we know you're limited on time, and we mm-hmm. thank you for just kind of coming on no in here. Problem, that no water problem. is for you, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know you just kind of sat yeah. in here, and we're moving real quick. But I did want to talk about your effect um, when those words come off, uh, you know, off the recording, mm-hmm. and how it affects people. And I want to do something real special um, that I just want to get your opinion on. Okay. Anthony, uh, our engineer in the booth, if you could pull up the video I was queuing a little bit earlier. Okay. Um, and this is basically one of your songs, but this was covered uh, by a young gentleman. Let's let's watch. That's the one, Anthony. Mm. Let's watch this real quick. These are the words of love, mm-hmm. and then we'll talk with Music Soul Child about it. Love. So many things I've got but I'm afraid I don't know how Cause there's a possibility You look at me different in love Ever since the first moment I spoke your name From then on I knew That by you being in my life Things were destined to change his love. So many people. There we go. Um. I think that's it for now, Anthony. Thank you. Um, he did get, he did get the little hip hop element when when the beat dropped. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. Um, you posted that. Give us the backstory. Of course, we've all kind of learned about him. Right, you right. know, recent tragedy. Yeah, Dr. Brandon. Yeah, um, I definitely want to uh, send a definite uh, shout out to to this to his family and, and loved ones um, in this time. Uh, it's very unfortunate that we lost another one, and it hit obviously it hit close to home to me because you know he was a a supporter of my music and you know you 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 don't know what to do with 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 things like that you know you want to celebrate the fact that your music has reached people especially that song that song in particular is a big deal because a lot of people don't understand that song wasn't to gear gear towards notions of romance and intimacy it was Mm -hmm. literally about me trying to understand and fathom what people call love and Mm. how other people get on with it and I was at that time very confused about what it really meant because everybody had their own interpretations of it so it's actually a cry out to love to real love not lust yeah it's a conversation if love was a person I want to be able to sit down and talk to love, and that's why I say, "Hey, love." So many things I got to tell you, you know, because <laughs> right. I, I I wanted to know what what is it that everybody else think love is, because what I feel and what I would call love is very different than everyone else, and I'm having I'm having a very challenging time understanding what I'm supposed to do with all of these feelings. Yeah, and I mean, because the gentleman just recorded that, you know, uh, yeah. while he was getting ready for America's Got mm-hmm. Talent, so it's just like that impact mm-hmm. that your words, and you obviously knew that song was such a impactful song anyway. Yeah, but you but don't really know until it comes back to you right. you know like it's very I don't know how to sort of pat myself on the back you know yeah. I don't know how to do that you know I let people let me know how I've affected them and then from that perspective I I've, I've, I gain an even deeper appreciation for what I'm not always aware that I'm doing you know like I can you know but it's, I can I can I can I can, you know, uh, tell myself that my stuff is good and my stuff, but it's, it's like tickling yourself. Like, it doesn't matter, you know? Yeah, and the moment you think about that too much, the, the creative craft may go away, too. Yeah, so, so I, I, but I'm definitely grateful that I'm able to be um, a, a representative, a messenger for, you know, this type of inspiration e- emotion, for people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so shout out to, you know, Dr. Brandon's family, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, you're, you're an actor a, a little bit now, too, so we're uh, kind of stepping I, into I, that I, world. I act like I'm acting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, we're, we're, we're all acting a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this I'm is not, Los Angeles, man. Yeah, I'm not really interested. Uh, however, everyone likes to tell me that I'm, I do pretty good at it, and I do appreciate that, but it's not really a passion of mine at all. Um, it is fun. It is fun. It's not, it's not really a passion of mine. Um, if something comes down, you know, comes down to pike and it's, it's something that I could do it is not taking too much of my time and attention away from what it is that I am passionate about which is music um, you know I'll entertain it 
you know, it's cool. Does everyone know the backstory of like the name, you know, creating the name music and then Soul Child as well? Music, music just comes from being in Philly and having a reputation for being musical, beatboxing for MCs, and uh, just being known as the music dude that people, everybody knew. Um, Soul Child was, is basically my way of paying paying my respects to you know people that I was inspired by, like Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. Those were the soul stars of the past. You know, you got rock stars and pop stars. I like to think of them as soul stars. And I am a product of that inspiration. Therefore, the, a product of something is child, soul, child, put it together. Soul child. You are the soul child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a double disc. Yeah, 24 songs. It's a lot of music, a lot of singing. Feel the real. I'm, I mean, I'm still yeah. bumping albums from years past. Yeah, but, thank you. you know, we are, we're arguing about our favorites. He's pulling stuff, okay. you know, that <laughs> they were hits. And okay. I'm pulling stuff that's like an album cut. Yeah, a hit know? was a hit because it was well, made yeah. into a hit. But just because the other <laughs> she, ones She really threw me under the bus on that one, I, I really yeah. did. <laughs> I mean, okay. but for you... For you, what's your favorite song of yours that I you? I don't have a favorite. You, not it's, it changes all the time. Does not it? not mm. even one to perform though, because you know the it crowd. Changes, mm, it changes all the time. It what, changes all the time. What do people respond when you get up there on stage? What do they respond well, to? Well, love most? the most, but that's yeah. the most challenging song for me to sing. N not just technically, you know, with all the falsetto, and sometimes I ain't got it. And I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it, emotionally, that's a very challenging song for me to sing, and it's, and, it, and and soul music. You know, I don't think people understand. It's it's very emotionally involved. Like, it's not something that you can just you know on call just tap into that emotion. Sometimes you're just not feeling it. Yeah. But you still have to perform because you know you don't want to cheat the people out of what they came, what they paid for. You know, right. so. It, it, Soul music is a very tricky thing. Do you feel any difference now, like, you know, how we're overly social media driven and so much, like, giving has to come from the artist? Do you feel right. any impact with that? Because it does sound like you're the type that likes to maybe go and just be creative. Chill. Chill. Yeah, I do. I let them hand, I let my managers handle all of the, the <laughs> social media stuff. Like, I don't get into that. It gets really messy, and I don't like, I don't like to be a part of mess, so I stay away. I do reach out. I do, you know, acknowledge when people do, you know, show me love yeah. through social media. You know, they'll let me know, like, yo, so also hit you up I'm like right. oh cool that's what's up you right on that Instagram I think you wrote fan of my fans or something yeah, of that yeah, nature yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like so it, you know you gotta give you gotta give the love back when it comes you know um, but, however all the other stuff like, I don't, I don't really so you don't have to worry about it challenging you to like give more because you're you still maintain because I, I give as I do I don't I don't allow another person dictate or determine what's right. enough and what's not I, I just that. give but I feel bad because a lot of R&B artists or new artists they mm -hmm. do they they feel the pressure don't you see that you no know? I do see that but you I know? just I just don't put it on because it stresses you out and it's completely yeah. unnecessary and so if I could encourage any young person out there is move at your own pace you know move at your own pace um, at the end of the day you know, they they weren't there when you started. They're not going to be there if if you fall or whatever. Kid, like you know, appreciate the love, but don't 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 ex don't expect it. Right. right. You know, the thing about expectation it has a good way of breeding disappointment. So don't mm -hmm. expect it. So if it doesn't happen, you wasn't looking for it. But if it does happen, it's a bonus. So yeah. you know, you, you can really appreciate it. Let's uh, pull up the artwork for Fill the Real, which of course we said is uh, available for pre-order. That's coming out in September. Yes. Great month, my birthday month. So that's so, so you're so already doing yeah. okay, music. Uh, all right, all right. Yours too? Are you yeah. a Virgo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, 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 what day? It comes the day after the album comes out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good time of the year. Yeah, man. It's the best time of the year. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Summer ended. Mm -hmm. You already made your indiscretions. Ha! And <laughs> now you can feel the now you, you can feel the now real. You can feel the real. <laughs> I want. <laughs> That's what it's about. There, you, yeah. see? you see? You see? The interesting <laughs> thing about the cover is I was you know the song title came from the song that I worked with um, Marsha Ambrosius, genius. Oh, She's man. a genius. Love her. Um, we're actually working on something else, so you know keep your eyes and ears open for that. Um, but uh, I, I worked on the song, and I was pretty much done with the album. But when I worked on that song, I was like, "Hey, I like, I like, I like this title. I'm gonna call the album Feel the Real." I already had a working title before, but I like that title more. And then I thought to myself, "Hold up, what is the album cover gonna look like?" Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, well, how do you, how do, how do you show a feeling in a picture?" And I woke up one day, hey. You know, people use emojis to show how they feel. Yeah, right? yeah. No so one I talks. Figured, okay, cool. So let me show, let me use an emoji. Well, you know, I'm doing this whole denim thing. When I make it a denim emoji. Right. And there you go. Now, this is on your label, right? Yeah, Soul Star Music Company. 
And when did you start it, and what are you putting out? I've been I've been starting it for, for years, actually. Right. <laughs> it went through a couple different transitions. Uh, it officially stuck, and now it's it's Soul Star Music Company. Um, and the whole point of Soul Star Music Company is just to put my friends on. Okay. Yeah, people I think are really, and not just my friends, because it's not a charity case. Uh, your situation, you know, it's, it's a thing where people I feel could use the attention and use the time, use the light, use the, you know, the shine, you know, because people are going to, you know, not for nothing, but people are, are looking at me. They are paying attention to me. I do get the attention. And all I want to do is like, OK, hey, 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 look at this person. Right. right. You know, that so, they readily of, wouldn't been able to been able to get that attention just like that. And some of the some of these artists are also going to be on the field of real. Yeah. My, one one main one is uh, Willie Hen. He's a rapper from Atlanta. He's yeah. I've seen a really lot of Instagram dope. photos. Really of, dope. He's really, really you'd really like dope. mentoring him, so yeah. to speak. I guess if you want to call it that, I'm just sort of showing him what I've learned, telling him what I know and. He just, you know, uses it and applies it however he sees fit. He's actually very seasoned, you know. You don't okay. a person like him, you don't tell him what to do. You just kind of show him where there is to go and what there is to do, and he can, you know, sort of figure it out on his own. So that's 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 the that's the dope part. I love how the, the the veteran artists and I say that in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, no, I appreciate they it. they take from the younger artists in a really good way. Like I just got a chance to meet uh, Jazzy Jeff over there at mm -hmm. the Firefly Festival, and the same thing. He, he gave us that feeling of like. Okay, cool. I'm. I'm. Here. This is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. You know, we all know he's a legend, but mm -hmm. he's taking so much inspiration from the young kids, which is not an easy thing to do. But it's not because when you have when you have that time served, it kind of creates this 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 I don't know author authoritative you know leverage s kind of I'm up here and you're down. You you ain't been through what I've been through right, yet right. type thing. It was and, a different era. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I I do my best to not allow my 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 personal you know ego get in the way where I'm open enough to still receive new information because there is something that's happening that even you haven't experienced before, you right. know? So it, there, there's a matter of, you know, choosing to look at it from different perspectives. Yes, the young people haven't experienced what you may have experienced, but to you, what they're doing is new. So right. it's kind of like a, it's a circle. Yeah. Can we do two quick fashion things too? Tell, oh, me, okay. tell me why the denim, but before that, what was the hat you were wearing in the, uh, in the start over video? Oh, it's, it, a, it's a fitted fedora. Yeah. You know, and, and it, it was my way in a hat to describe hip hop soul because okay. you know in hip hop we like to wear the fitteds. Yeah. You know, in soul music back in the day, they used to wear the fedoras to try to be cool. I stopped the video like six times. I was like, that's not a regular baseball cap. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's actually a fit. It's, it's a fedora on top. But it's of, like in arced the, in a yeah. Yeah, and the brim is instead of making a round brim, I just make it make it just like a fitted. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, and you I'm, came and in I'm, in that video good with the big, the the chunky Adidas and, and yeah, your, because you I, I'm trying to find I'm trying to always maintain the balance between. Soul soul music culture and hip hop music culture and I'm trying to fuse the two it's not an easy thing no. and the reason for the denim is because it's a, it's a universal fabric it goes with anything yeah. you can dress it up dress it down yeah what I love about music soul child is I'm always going to get great lyrics I'm always going to get a beat and I'm going to have something that five years from now yeah. I still want to play thank you Ten there'll years be leftovers yeah <laughs> Exactly. It's like a home cooked meal. <laughs> Feel the real. It's yeah. a double disc coming yeah. in September. Thank you so much. Thanks Ronnie. for having me. What, what, I what's, it. what's that, Anthony? Okay, yeah, we're wrapping up. Last uh, big inspirational question for you, and we mm. will wrap up here. I, I get excited when I think of like old shows that I've been to, like mm. you know, seeing like uh, Anthony Hamilton at the House of Blues, mm -hmm. Wapalaya at Knitting Factory. Mm -hmm. What was like that big moment where you got to see an artist that that stays with you over all these years? It was D'Angelo in Philadelphia. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it was you're in your town. Nice. Yeah, it was D'Angelo, and I, I haven't really because I didn't have the money to. I ain't never <laughs> really used to go to shows, um, but I knew a lot of the people that were, you know you know, part of his crew that were in the band, you know, so I, when I went to go see D'Angelo live, I was like, yeah, this, I'm, this is definitely what I need to do. And this is on his Voodoo album, so mm -hmm. it was like right before I came out. So it was such a big deal, such an inspiration, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, this right. is yeah, this is what I want to do. And I'm here. I want to like embrace that yeah, moment. Yeah, it sticks yeah. with you for years. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it sticks definitely. With you. Yeah. I know that we we've loved your music for a while, but if we now go see you, we're gonna be like we're gonna, we're gonna see us in the crowd. Okay, <laughs> like cool. we're gonna feel like you're, we're, we're starting over. Okay, 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 cool, okay music. Cool, cool. That's what's up, uh, Angelique. Do you have any last thoughts for him or questions? Uh, no, just uh, good luck with the album. Thank and you. Of course, I'm playing as many singles as I can on thank my you. radio show. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for your thank support. Thank you. Cool. All right, this has been After Buzz's concert experience with. Uh, Music Soul Child. Thank you very much. Right.
From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.